I don't need this weapon to hunt, to defend myself. It is a weapon of war. Hell yes, we're gonna take your AR-15, your AK-47. We're not gonna allow it to be used against our fellow Americans anymore. Congressman, thank you. And I wanna say this. I'm listening to the people of this country. The day after I proposed doing that, I went to a gun show in Conway, Arkansas to meet with those who are selling AR-15s and AK-47s and those who are buying those weapons. And you might be surprised there was some common ground there. Folks who said, I would willingly give that up, cut it to pieces. I don't need this weapon to hunt, to defend myself. It is a weapon of war. So let's do the right thing, but let's bring everyone in America into the conversation, Republicans, Democrats, gun owners, and non-gun owners alike. Can I make a point? Congressman, thank you. So to, to gun owners out there who say, well, a Biden administration means they're going to come for my guns. Bingo. You're right if you have an assault weapon. The fact of the matter is they should be illegal, period. a gun violence problem in America. It is about the mass shootings that we hear about in our schools and that frighten us about in theaters and in churches. Simon Abadi was wearing a backpack that was so heavy that it bent him over. Within it was a bomb packed with shrapnel. 19 seconds after CCTV captured his image, he detonated his device. Killing 22 people, his oldest victim 51 years old, his youngest just eight. I want to turn to the deadly mass shootings here in this country. And of course, we are all mindful tonight of where we stand. We are here in Texas tonight where 29 people have lost their lives in just the last month. So my question is, as president, how will you go about keeping our schools safe and keeping guns out of the hands of those who should not have them? Thank you, Ben. And I'm sure that there are plenty of students here who, while you were in um, high school, even middle school, that you had to participate in a drill, right? Where you were convened and your teachers taught you about how you need to go and run in a closet because there may be a mass shooter roaming the hallways of your school. First, you duck, and then you cover. And very tightly, you cover the back of your neck and your face. Tony knows the bomb can explode any time of the year, day or night, he is ready for it. Duck and cover. Add a boy, Tony, that flash means act fast. Why do we have to have a drill like that? We need reasonable gun safety laws in this country, starting with universal background checks and a renewal of the assault weapon ban.